and if you open your camera and he's there, he just forces your camera down. Which that's it. See, he literally does nothing. Uh, BB and JJ, they just disable doors and lights, so no problem there. Old Man Consequences just disables your camera. BB and Mangle literally are never a problem if you never open your camera. Uh, Helpy just does nothing. I, th I think he takes your camera down. He, he blows an air horn in your face. That's his old shtick. Uh, yeah. Trash and Gang, they're literally just standing as Helpy, but they're, they're standing as Helpy, but you can't stop them. Uh, How do you stop Helpy? Oh, yeah, flash him, right? No, boop his nose. Although in the PS4 edition, you literally cannot stop him. Fair enough. Because, <laughs> okay, so the select button and the to uh, Rockstar Freddy, moving the wet floor I thought sign. that All was Mad Bear. No, that's, uh, Mad Bear's in the fence. Mm. Uh, but yeah, you know, perfectly normal. Uh, if you select any of those, it does turn on your flashlight at the same time, though, which actually means it creates a lot of soft, or air quotes, soft locks in the game. Forced fails. Uh, if Nightmare Balloon Boy is not active, and you need to pay Fred Bear, or Rockstar Freddy, uh, you die. <laughs> Because yeah. attempting to pay Rockstar Freddy will flash Nightmare BB. Uh, but for some reason, the only one that doesn't work is Helpy. If the flashlight is on, you cannot select Helpy. Uh, this is actually consistent with every version of the game, including PC. If the flashlight is on, you cannot move uh, Helpy, which, again, it, it's game mechanic. It's clearly intended, or it wouldn't have stayed. However, the thing to select him is bound to flashlight, so it is just impossible. So, he's basically just a second trashing gang that can pull down your camera. Uh, I'm using Rockstar Foxy because Rockstar Foxy does nothing if you don't, you know, poke at the bird. Uh, L Chip because it's, it's just no chip. Uh, well, that's the fun, ad, right? Yeah. Uh, fun Time Chica because I need a sexy chicken in my life and she does jack shit. And the phone call because he also does not like it. As far as I know, though, every other character can kill you, although I could, probably could set some of them to 20 and have them not kill me. Like, I could probably get away with Nightmare and that. In fact, I probably will do that. And honestly, there's a lot of audio-based characters I could probably do, too. Technically, couldn't you do Afton? Well, what I'm thinking about doing is turning off JJ, which would get rid of 200 points, but in turn, I could turn on all the audio-based cues. So, like, I could have Nightmare Fredbear on, I could have Nightmare on, I could have Afton on, I could have, uh... Fucking Ennard on, I could have... Afton just a one-time thing? Afton, he attacks the small vents. Uh, he drains power, I think, too. I could have sworn that he was only a one-time during the night thing, though. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah, he attacks only once. He makes insane amounts of noise, and uh, he'll flash the lights as well, making it harder to see, harder to hear. Also, he can activate Music Man. Not, music Man won't kill you off the time, but he can start up his cycle. So music Man works in cycles. Granted, his cycles are random, but you can trigger them through. It's actually a thing they used to do in 5020 mode, where they would purposely activate something very loud to activate Music Man to turn him off to hopefully reset his RNG and make him wait longer to turn on again. Because he activates with noise, but noise doesn't automatically activate him. Hell, you can even sometimes get away with levels of the noise without activating him. Huh. See, so yeah, I could probably turn off JJ and get away with... JJ is... Uh, doors. Turns off doors. Hmm. Bloom Boy... But doors. Yes. Uh, actually, one of the worst things that's happened to me while attempting a, uh, I think a 12,000 point run, back when I played the game a lot on PC, uh, there was a lot of times where I would just let BB in. I, I forget. Like, sometimes if I see he's in there, I won't even waste the power of just closing that door for even a split second just so I can flip up the camera. Because he doesn't really do much. A uh, Phantom Freddy can't kill you, and Nightmare Freddy takes a long time to kill you. Nightmare BB doesn't activate all that much on 20. Point is, really easy to get around. But, uh, there was one time 
where I got fucked over because I had BB in the room, and I was like, oh, that's fine, and I didn't realize he left, and I opened Woo! my camera, and I Second opened my fight, camera. Second fight, Dark Matter. And, uh... So I put my camera up, not realizing he already left the room. JJ gets in, so I can no longer close my doors. Only man consequences show up. I start freaking out. He activates, so I can't open my camera. JJ's in the room. I hear all the fucking audio cues to close everything. <laughs> and my ventilation starts going out, so I can't see either. But I can't turn off ventilation because all man consequences said no, 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 no. And JJ's like, ha, 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 you're dead. Fun times. All right. Spring trap I could turn on, but I plan on not opening my camera at all, so... Yeah. Probably get away with the lore, too. And... I could also do Molten Freddy. He's an audio cue. And I could do Enric since he's an audio cue. Uh, oh. The only shitty thing about this is going to be healthy. Also, honestly, I could just death coin Funtime Foxy and get the free points from that. I thought you didn't get points from things you death coined. Uh, I'm pretty sure you do. I just think after the it, after it ends and it pulls you back into the menu, it's gonna say you didn't earn the points. I'm pretty sure when it does the high score thing, though, you do earn the points for him. Which is why it's possible to build up. 20,000 points for the secret ending, Death Coin, Funtime Foxy, and still get the secret ending. Because they don't count the special ones that. Zor XD? I don't know what Shadow DD's name is. Also, I don't even need to get into how bullshit DD is. You know how many times I try to do these, like, high point runs that require minimal effort? And it gets fucked over because she adds the puppet or some shit? <laughs> DD Repel. Oh, okay. So, this is going to be a little bit of an off-tangent thing. This is something I find really cool about Scott's game design. You remember Pizza Simulator and how it had a really, really cool uh, night mode? Yeah. Did you notice basically everybody fucking died on the second night? Um, honestly, no, but I think I'm going to have to go back and look into that. Well, yeah, basically everybody fucking dies on the second night. Because... Scott did one thing in that game that pisses everyone off, but also makes the game really, really fun. Nothing works. 100% of the time. Audio does not always lure them. Looking into the vent doesn't even it always stop them. Does, you gotta start over. When you started talking, you were lagging out. Alright, so, uh, and nothing is guaranteed in mm -hmm. the simulator. Audio lore does not always lure them away. Motion detector doesn't always sense their movement. You shining your light in the vent doesn't even always stop them from coming in. And Scott purposely did that because he wants you to think you have this safe mechanic and realize they can still get in here while I'm looking at them. I should probably have the audio lore running while I look at them. And in turn with that, a lot of ultimate customized mechanics aren't 100%, including DD Repel. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> so does that mean technically DD Repel doesn't stop the quote-unquote Shadow DD from appearing? Oh no, there's no way of stopping Zor. I think her name is Zor, like XT2 or something. Uh, that's because in 50-20 mode you have to fight every single animatronic at the start of the match, no matter what. Which mm -hmm. is why uh, you can only... Like, you could death, you could death, coin, death coin one of them. But you have to take on the six... Uh, mystery ones. Because there are six characters not on the official roster. As annoying as that is. It sounds pretty stupid, right? But statistically speaking, you can get through 50-20 without even seeing a special one. No, you will. Zor appears right at the beginning of the round, I think within the first hour. And every single one of them spawns back to back to back to back, and all their mechanics immediately activate on their spawn. Uh, XQC, which is Shadow Bonnie, will turn everything pitch black immediately, except things you absolutely need to see, like Scrap Baby and Funtime, uh, or not Funtime, Rockstar Freddy. 
Okay. Things you would need to see will still be there, but you cannot see your doors, whether they're open or closed. You cannot see the eyes or faces of... You can't see things that have audio cues. So, like, Nightmare and Nightmare Fredbear, they laugh in your ears, but they also appear in the doorways. You don't see them anymore while he's back. I think it only lasts, like, 15 to 30 seconds, which is a long time for this game. Mm -hmm. Understandably so. Uh, What's that equate to in actual game, or the game clock time? 30 seconds isn't even an hour. But it's pretty fucking close. I think it's 45 <laughs> seconds per hour. Damn. But, uh, Nightmare Chica, he immediately starts chomping her uh, teeth down on you, and you need to cool down, uh, no, heat up the office immediately. And she's designed to really fuck up your night because everything activates and gets harder to control when it gets hotter. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, I, and the main one, and honestly, I didn't even know this was on purpose. Freddy is designed to be specifically just as hard to deal with as he was in the first game. Because immediately, he will just start approaching the left door. He's got four stages, far, or no, yeah, four stages. Not there, existing, close, and on the door. So, uh, now, once he on. starts existing... I uh, want to discuss something I saw in a video of someone who broke down the mechanics of the first Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. Once Freddy gets to the point where he's outside your door, he does not leave. Never. Is that true? Yes. The only thing that changes is depending on his difficulty setting, which... Obviously, uh, talking about 420, he will always seize. So, you watch Tech Rules' video, right? I'm going to assume that that's the guy I watched. The, did he have the green background? Um, there was green at some point. Yes, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you know about the attack opportunities? Now. Yeah. And the way, uh. uh you know, Something I also words. didn't know is that uh, all the characters progressively get harder through the night. Mm -hmm. Also, fun fact, they attack in alphabetical order. Flying Chica, Fox, and Freddy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> they they, they <laughs> That's activate a stupid in alphabetical thing. order. They activate in alphabetical order. It's complete coincidence. Scott said it in the interview. Which... Fun fact, since the game, the first game's release, Scott has only ever had one official interview. Huh. And it was a reward to Daco for being one of the first humans to ever beat 5020. That's... And I love that. That's definitely an interesting thing to... That, that... Congratulatory. Good job. Yeah. Oh, and if he failed and wasn't able to do it, he had to make a fan game praising Scott. Just a fun fact, uh, if he had not done it. Anyway, uh... In the first game, on level 20, Freddy, every single time you put up your camera, Freddy gets an attack opportunity. On 420, he will always attack if the door is open. Always, no questions asked. Uh, there is a glitch where... Not a glitch, but an oversight where there is a wait period. It's... He still attacks no matter what. But he might wait a second to attack, even though he's already successfully attacked. That's why there's a glitch where Steel Sea will close the door but still get killed by Freddy. So, yeah. But in this game, the way he operates is simple. Once he activates, he is active all night. He may move at different speeds, but there's one thing consistent. If the room gets hot, he gets really fucking fast. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, if the room is above 100 degrees, once he hits the door, instead of going into the deactive phase, he's automatically back at phase 1. And it's stupid, and Nightmare Chica throws it off the lot. Back to uh, Shadow GD. Plus chap, I don't know how to fight him. The mini arenas, they just block your vision, but they're tactically placed where you can see everything you need to. Nightmare Chica is the Halloween no. one, right? The Hall Okay, so Jacko Chica is in base game, but Nightmare Chica is the extra character that's only in Gotcha. Well, actually, there's like a 1 in 10,000 chance that Shadow DD appears on a normal run. Fun fact. Interesting. Um, update, Kamari's 300 
away from breaking the MP limit. Ooh, fun. Actually, I'm gonna start using the, the SOS region show. exploit to get money. I have an idea. I'm gonna turn on only mast and audio cue enemies. I think the mast, mask it in a console region. You just press R1 to use. That's it. I'm gonna see if I can get only mask and audio cue enemies. That's the big thing when you want to make something easy. Is that you need to get a bunch of characters who are all very consistent with mechanics in one another. I can't. I can do all masks and audio cues. Alright. I'm gonna focus up now, but I'll still be talking. Fair enough. Oh, here we go. The final showdown. Um. Uh. <sighs> kind of intense just waiting for sounds. <laughs> Do you have all the mask animatronics? On, Except or... Golden Freddy, just because he behaves so quick, I don't want to get confused why he's there and you know, not be able to react in time. Also, doing rounds like this help me focus a lot on these <laughs> later on. I do believe I also have Afton on. But fun fact, if you ever play 10 again, SOS, regen, armors, sell for more than what it would cost you to make them. Huh. That was close. My vent my ventilation was going out and I waited a second to do it. And right when I did that fucking toy Bonnie appeared. Afton still has an attack and that's stressing me the fuck out. One fun mechanic that is different from FNAF 2. Uh, when Toy Chica... Oh, sorry. Fuck, dude, literally everyone fucking attacked me at the same time. <laughs> Seriously, I, I started saying, I said, the, I said FNAF 2, and I said, 
when they attack, and then as soon as I said that, I hear both laughs from both sides, the lower music from the right, after the attack, within Bonnie's in the room, ventilation went out, I hear squeaking in the vent. Okay, okay. Close both doors, mask on, they're all gone, the lower is gone, block Afton, clear the squeaks, open my camera, hit vents, realize I hear fucking Walton Freddy's laugh, bring down my camera, close that, S didn't, somehow didn't notice with Bonnie in my face again. Oh. No, not oh, that could have been worse. Alright, let's see if I can eliminate the audio cues. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna just do uh, Bear's Attack. Why not? Alright, what do I gotta do? Lefty, Rockstar Freddy, Ned Bear, Molten Freddy, Healthy, fuck. Golden Freddy, oh, Toy Freddy's active. Fuck my life. <laughs> You know how Toy Freddy works, right? Yeah, he's playing a uh, basically Five Nights fan game while you're playing. Oh! Oh, fuck you, Helpy! Oh my god, you attacked twice in a row? That's me. God, those frettles are so stressing. Oh, I silent vents on. Ah, fuck! I did that thing where I forgot Golden Freddy's fucking character. <laughs> it's just one of those things of... He's purposely designed to... He... It's actually kind of funny. He appears more systematically when he's on lower levels. The higher level he is, he appears pretty often, but he appears not in a rhythm. Uh, if you ever watch Markiplier's Golden Freddy mode for Sister Locations Custom Night, he talks about how Yendo, who basically is the Golden Freddy of that game, he has to flip the camera constantly up and down until Gendo actually appears so he can break the loop of him thinking he's going to be there. Mm -hmm. And they purposely designed Golden Freddy to have that same offset appearance rate. I'll get better at it. I need to stop being so concerned about the frontal throw. get five coins really quick in case Fred Rockstar activates early. much as I don't want to, I think I'm going to have to do some farming in uh, Omega Dungeon. Oh, Toy Freddy, fuck. Okay. 
Oh hey, I got that little Easter egg one. And I have both characters for Taxi. Not Taxi, because it's on the desk. Where the fuck did I get so many X potions? Whoa, motherfucker, Ned Bear. Oh, I got the really funny voice line where he says, Don't you hate getting killed by obscure secondary characters? <laughs> Actually, uh, everyone from his gang, the mediocre melodies, they have a very, very small chance, minus Mr. Hippo, for obvious reasons. Yes. Uh,. Whatever uh, they kill you, they have a very, very small chance to actually, like, say a very, very serious line. Which, by the way, it took a long time for us to figure out where it came from, because while they're talking, you can hear a child's whisper saying the same thing right after them. Obviously implying that they're being controlled by some other character during those lines. Everyone thought it was Baby, because of the whole little... At the time, sister location had just still been a kind of big part of the story, and we were still trying to figure all the stuff out in it. Everyone was like, oh, there's a little bit of me in every body, ha ha ha, and her baby, let's go. Um, later on we learned it's actually Golden Freddy's character, like the child who's killed, called Cassidy. I know you're behind on the theories, but... Wow! That is it... an understatement. You're very behind, because there have been, like, seven more book releases. Well, what was the last book you remember, actually? Uh, the one you read. The first one. Alright, so you know about Silver Eyes. But there's like seven Bass Bear Fright ones, whatever they're called, they're little like short story books. They're not sh they're like a book of like three or four short stories. There's like seven of those. You have the Twisted Ones, the Fourth Closet, um, all, uh, has the Survival been. Guide, but the Survival Log Book, the other one akin to that, I forget what it is, the refined version of it. I'm trying to think of what else there was. You've missed two games, but I'm pretty sure you've watched some Help One stuff. Yeah. Did you watch Curse of Dreadbear? Um, no. The I Halloween update Mark. Help Wanted. Oh, then... yes. Alright, and we're about to get the new game release. Which also just want to say, having a Five Nights at Freddy's game with a very, very long release window, like of being like, hey, this is going to be in development for a long time, it is nice, because for once in our lives, I don't feel like this game is going to be overhyped. <clears throat> don't get me wrong, the game is hyped. But like, the short attention span of all the kids who were excited about it has already died out, so now just the people who genuinely want a really good horror experience from the series is finally going to get it. Because don't get me wrong, I think Help Wanted was the perfect send-off for the original series formula. Because if you don't know, uh, Security Breach is actually going to be a 3D adventure, or 3D, like, roaming horror game. Kind of... I'm hoping, at least, that one-ups, uh... Joy of Creation? Yeah. First of all, you're never going to one-up Joy of Creation. <laughs> that was like... I mean, in the, the sense of... 3D uh, horror experience because that's still dealing with the base mechanics of Five Nights at Freddy's. Which I just want to say, Joy of Creation did a beautiful job recreating those games in an actual 3D environment. Oh, hell yeah. Like, it is an understatement. To any, like, no, I can't praise it enough. It's especially, like, you see, like, the base gameplay mechanics of Final Fantasy Freddy's in the first level where you're playing as the baby. And mm -hmm. it's like, that's just normal Final Fantasy Freddy's shit. You're stationary, basically, the entire time. You just have to do what you have to do to get rid of everyone. Mm -hmm. But when you go to, like, the living room and the office, yeah, it's the same shit, but they really, really use the 3D environments to their advantage. Especially with living room, where there is no hiding place. Like, you just, <laughs> you genuinely just have to stay out of their sight and, yeah, you're using a door to do it, but there's no, like, press the button to hide here. You just genuinely walk to the door and pray to fucking god you don't clip through it and they get you. <laughs> My favorite thing Mark said about that particular level is, where do I hide here? Yeah, my favorite, again, and also, I forget the name of the creator. God damn it, I hate that I do that. That creator deserves so much praise. Bonnie in that level. 
of like the randomly busting through the door with no feed for you to watch. You have to actually like get out of your way to watch him in particular. And the fact that since he's out of sync with those two, he can disrupt the entire match. It's just a beautiful idea of like, it not only does it make you want to offset the animatronics, the two main ones, but it is the perfect, you have to pay attention to this character too. Big. It's not mm -hmm. like the puppet, and the puppet wouldn't be that bad if it wasn't re if it wasn't a reused concept in everything in the game. I think the yeah. winding the music box is perfectly fine in the FNAF 2 formula, especially since FNAF 2 was basically just instead of having one enemy attack you a lot of times, we have multiple enemies that do the same things, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, Bonnie is a perfect character to offset pace and designed insanely well. Office isn't as good in my opinion. One thing I do enjoy is, if you do fuck up, it's not an instant loss. Because Bonnie can knock out a camera, and it's out the entire night. Mm -hmm. but That's my favorite actually... voice line in that level. When, uh, cause I'm assuming listen... it's... It, I'm Would assuming it's the... Scott... Yeah. Like, story-wise, I'm assuming it's one of Scott's notes to himself. Yeah, the Bonnie punched out the camera. Took out the fucking camera. <laughs> but yeah, it's all right. It's you... okay. I, I think I can still do this. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, as long as you have some system of keeping track of where Foxy has been and where they'll mo most likely go, yeah, it's still random. But you have a good chance of surviving without one of the cameras. In fact, most of the places I've seen, they only have one camera by the end of the night, and they're just praying Foxy's there because he's actually very inactive. Which well, is something I did. I've know. never seen. A situation where Bonnie's taken out two cameras. Yeah, you can take out all three and you can still win. I've seen that too. That was more of a guy demonstrating that it can happen and you can still win. That's honest. Like, how do you fucking trigger it? Because uh, if Bonnie, you have to look at him. If there's the logic that you can have him take out all three, there's the logic that you can beat it without him taking out a single one. Yeah. So, the way it works, uh, Bonnie's a panic mechanic, which a lot of Finance of Freddy's uh, office-style games have had. Again, obviously, this location being a story-based linear game didn't have as many of these, but, uh, there's always that one mechanic, 100% designed to just make you panic. It is not actually a threat. The ventilation going out in Ultimate Customite is that. It forces you to bring up the camera, which causes all this mayhem. A lot of the enemies either rely on you opening the camera, or disable your camera, or have some other effect. A lot of characters can't attack unless the camera is up. A lot of them physically aren't active if the camera is off. So, ventilation forces you to open it and cause mayhem. Uh, the puppet is a panic mechanic. Uh, Bonnie in the living room level is a panic mechanic. And well, yes, I love saying that. The... Puppet in the original game that he was, she was, whatever it is, was she. in. Her name's Charlotte. But in terms of panic mechanic, that is a mildly s simple in the sense of how to deal with it. Yeah. Which is what a panic mechanic should be. It should it should purely be something to just stress you out. Mm -hmm. Uh. However, I'd argue the puppet in its original game was a bit more of an actual character and an actual threat than just a panic mechanic, but it's the best one that game has. Similar to Golden Freddy uh, in later adaptations. Obviously in the first game, it was an easter egg, but being this thing that just appears sometimes, and you have to react immediately, it forces you to make an action here that's not in your rhythm, and you have to, you know, in turn get to it. So, back to Joy Creation. Bonnie is a panic mechanic. You're trying to figure out what's there. You need to you need to look at Foxy. You're watching for Freddy. So if you are panicking trying to find stuff and you look him dead in the eyes on accident, boom, your camera's gone. Yes, it's very easy to react out of, but that's why it's permanent. You know, you don't, as long as you don't look him in the eyes, you can look at him without looking his, at his face and realize, oh, there's Bonnie, don't look at him. But if you fuck up once, you fucked up. <laughs> you know, it's like not putting on your mask when Golden Freddy's in the room. You know, you fucked up. <laughs> if anything, I'd say he's a really nice panic mechanic. It's impossible to beat him without him. Or with, without the camera. Uh, Chica 
also in that level. Well, here's the other thing. Joy Creation does right in most of its levels is that everything is a panic mechanic. It's not real. Everything itself isn't that hard to deal with. But, you it's know. It's putting them all together. Also, yeah, I, be all, it, I believe when, the it, office is at least the first of Joy of Creation's levels that Chica can actually kill, right? Yeah. Uh, only. The only? Can't kill when you're a baby, can't kill when you're the girl, can't kill there, and not in the last one. Last two. The last one's all endoskeletons. Or the last, the basement's all endoskeletons, and the attic is, uh, creation. But, uh, back to, uh, the thing I was talking about, uh, yeah, one thing Joy of Creation did really well, maybe not so much in its first level, yeah, in the in the living in, well, living room I can argue. Bonnie's really the only panic mechanic, but at least the office, everyone isn't really designed to be that hard to deal with, and it is the fact they're all put together. In a normal Finance of Freddy's game, that's not the case. You know, Finance of Freddy's one doesn't have a panic mechanic. Foxy is too in depth and his own special threat enough to where you know he's not really a panic mechanic, because here's the other thing, a lot of people don't know. You don't need to watch him. Yeah. Did you know that? You don't need to look at him. You just need to have the camera on. But she's, you can watch Freddy the entire time. Mm -hmm. Which, in 420 mode, they end up swapping to Foxy anyway, just because you don't need to watch Freddy once he's in the corner, because he attacks every attack opportunity. And, of course, FNAF 1, you can use the uh, 420 rhythm to literally beat every single night. But, uh... You know, Friends of Freddy's 2... Oh, sorry. Mm. What were you I saying? don't know. I think the rhythm on the earlier nights is just a massive waste of power. It is, but it works every time. In fact, the only reason 420 doesn't work all the time is because Foxy is so active. Mm -hmm. You know, if he didn't attack... like. Knights 1 through 4, he probably would only attack once, which means he only drains, like, 2 power. Which, you'll usually end with, like, 10 power each time. Also, by the way, if you're curious, there is a guy who specializes in conserving power in those games, and he beats Knight 1 in that game with, like, 98%. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, I guess it's... The... That would be the only knight I would expect that that would be possible. Yeah, but, uh, you know, Final Fantasy Phrase 2 only even has with really... the mechanic of everyone getting harder as the night progresses, everyone's still only at, at most, five, and Freddy, I don't think, I think that, uh, video said that he's basically at zero, night one, two? He literally and is, and night yeah. one and two, he doesn't, he doesn't come off stage. And night three, he doesn't go above like five, which means he doesn't even attack you. And four and five, that's when he starts getting the reasonable difficulties where he's a threat. But uh, back to FNAF 2. FNAF 2 only has three to four panic mechanics, but I'll argue two of them aren't. Uh, Balloon Boy is a panic mechanic, but in the end, he behaves exactly like a normal character, and even though he doesn't kill you, he just results in boxing. So, well, in he, my opinion, he's just a normal character. He doesn't you react to him in the same way. He doesn't kill you directly, but you literally defend him the same way as you do everyone else. The only exception mm -hmm. is that, unlike Chica and Bonnie, he goes away quicker. So um, he's no more of a he's no more of a panic character than anyone else. I'm going to go top off my coffee. You can I continue to rant to my chat that is empty. I will continue this when you get back.
That's nine. Yep. All right, so. R quick question. Were you still living here the year that I damn near got hit with a fucking firework? Yeah. John, I think it was John gave Rachel or gave us a bunch of bottle rockets for Rachel's birthday. I can understand the context. <laughs> yeah. And I and you was almost just... hit with one. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think I felt the heat as it grazed under, not directly under, but, you know, the residual heat of the air around the firework as it went past me. Yeah. I'm gonna nerd out about a shitty indie game again. You can keep going, I'm enjoying this. Alright, Foxy, well, in design, he's a panic character. He was overlooked in design and is very easily not a panic character since just flashing your light every single time doesn't waste the battery that much and ultimately does nothing. Makes Balloon Boy not only... <coughs> it basically, he's overlooked in design, which makes him useless unless you count Balloon Boy, which in that case, they're, they together are literally just a normal animatronic. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that because... No, because okay. Balloon, Balloon Boy doesn't disable your cameras, does he? Nope. Just a flashlight. If Balloon Boy gets in, Foxy kills you. Foxy usually will never kill you on his own, so in turn, they are just one character. And they behave like a normal fucking character. I was gonna say, well, Freddy could still kill you. In FNAF 2. Uh, yeah. Any animatronic could. No, no animatronics can kill you except Foxy and the puppet while your camera is down. Unless they're obviously in your room. When you take the camera Well, I'm down. saying, when uh, Balloon Boy de deactivates your flashlight, theoretically, you could still defend against Bonnie and Chica. Uh, well, here's the thing, though. The way FNAF 2 works is simple. Nothing can attack you except Foxy and the puppet if the camera is down and they are not already in the room. So, like... Bo toy Bonnie, Toy Chica, they're always in the vents, and they can, like, if you see them, put on the mask. Otherwise, they will jump out at you when your camera is up. So, if you take your camera down, and Balloon Boy is there, and there is nothing in your room, only two things can kill you. And if Balloon Boy's in your room, Foxy is killing you. Because <laughs> that's intended game time. But theoretically, uh, Freddy could kill you as well in that scenario. Ah... Uh, Again, because, again, the, the big thing about Finite Space 2 is that basically the entire roster acts the exact same way of put your mask on. The only exceptions being Foxy and the Puppet, so... If mm. they're not immediately in your room, no. The only exception is in Help Wanted, where Toy Freddy actually physically enters your room. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about the original FNAF 2, where... Unless they're in your room when your camera comes down, they aren't killing you. Fair enough. Because... That's just how it works. I mean, I'm not necessarily trying to argue with you. That's just how the game works. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm right in Help Wanted's rendition. Yes, where Toy Freddy actually physically walks through the doorway into you where it doesn't matter. That is a menacing fucking sight, by the way. Fun fact, uh, did you know every single animatronic has a different thing that happens as they get closer to you? No. Yeah. Uh, so, obviously Foxy just jumps at you. Uh, Mangle gets slowly and slowly higher shadow contrast to look more and more menacing. Hmm. That's why, uh, yep, yeah, basically just that. Toy Freddy slowly opens his mouth. Toy Chica loses her feet. Uh, Toy Bonnie's pupils get smaller. Uh, Balloon Boy obviously talks. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. The puppet, its music changes. Uh, the that only I never of... fucking noticed. Uh, well, yeah, like the, uh, the Chica's music. beak, obviously that's noticeable. Well, the other ones are also so minute. Toy Freddy, this is actually really cool. 
every single movement, his mouth would open slightly more. Uh, and I think Toy Bonnie's the same way. I think his eye, his pupils get smaller every movement. It's just one of those tiny things you would never have noticed. All the Withereds actually behave normally. They just enter your room, nothing special happens with them. Uh, I guess the only exception is that they probably look the coolest, but that doesn't really count. <laughs> Anyway, Puppet, I would argue, is not really a panic character, but since it's the only character that requires you to open the camera, then I would say it's a panic character. Uh, a panic mechanic. That That Those is little... so fucking fun to say. Yeah. Uh, however, there is one other character, one that cannot kill you, that I would actually call a panic mechanic. And mm. I'm... Actually, I would less to say it's a panic mechanic, and more to say it's just a red hair. And that's Endo, uh, the endoskeleton that can appear in that game. It has no purpose, it does not attack you, it appears in the music box room, and in the right vent. It never enters the room, it cannot kill you. Hmm. It's an easter egg, and it is a really good one because it really, if you see it, you really freak out. And it usually ends your run there if you have no idea what's going on. Step 3, I mean, anything that's not spring track in that game is a panic mechanic. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I would just leave it there. They're literally all designed to just mess you up. If they weren't there, you would beat the game no problem. FNAF 4? It'd be equivalent... Well, not necessarily one-to-one -one equivalent, but it'd be comparable to Night 1 in that game, where there's nothing in the building. Yeah. Uh, FNAF 4? There is, in my opinion, only two... Or, I'm gonna say three, technically, true panic mechanics. And they're all audio. If you remember, that game can be beaten without sight. Mm -hmm. Which means the only real panic mechanics have to be audio. And that would be simply Foxy running between hallways, Foxy entering the closet, and the friends. Yes, I said closet with a K, don't at me. So yeah, those are the only three, and I honestly think the Freddles are probably the biggest one because they get louder and louder the closer you are dying, which is very, very tense. I didn't even think about that, because the visual cue that there are more of them behind you is that your light flickers. Yep. Uh, which also doesn't even make a noise. One, no. one thing I wanted to address about that game. Yes. Brett damn near beat Night 1 without fucking moving a muscle. Uh, yeah, Night 1 of that game is... Uh, the, I think the only one that can kill you is Bonnie. No, he died to Freddy. <laughs> oh yeah, Freddy is active on night one. Did he just make the joke like I'm just not gonna move and then tried it? Yeah. I'm just not gonna move because that's what a child would do in this situation. Except they yeah. crawl under the covers. In which case the frettles wouldn't have been an issue because you're already yeah. there. But uh moving forward. Sister location, I'm only going to talk about the Custom Knight and not the Ennard Knight, because Ennard's the only threat that night. But in which case, if you count the Ennard Knight, the rest of the game leading up to that point. Well, no, because each each knight has its own mechanics. I mean, the thing about it, though, is the Sister location was meant to be hard in a sense of how hostile everything is, not in the actual, like, overwhelming nature of it. Mm-hmm. So... Like, going to each single game, the panic mechanic would be the threat. The only threat. You know, against the Bitty Babs, it's the gate moving, but the gate moving is the only thing you have to worry about where you're in the hidey hole and they pull the door open. Mm -hmm. That's the only panic mechanic, but that's also the only mechanic. You know, honestly, I think the only real one would be Freddy, who laughs every time he moves. Because that is very threatening, and it does make you immediately pull down the monitor to see where it's at. Especially because he can skip steps, which is very clear from the beginning, because he, he, I believe the first time you ever enter that room, he immediately skips to phase two, where he could be sent back immediately. However, he takes a longer time to get into phase three to compensate, and I think he has five phases in that room, but four can immediately be skipped and kill, so four is treated also as the last phase. Uh, Ballora, which up, leading up to Freddy, her only panic mechanic is her getting close to you. And god do you fucking panic. 
Yeah, reasonably Actually, so. I lied. I lied. The hand unit talking during your walk is a huge panic mechanic. But I personally don't think anyone moved during that. I think everyone stopped as soon as they heard him. Yeah. Uh, Funtime Foxy, same thing. Funtime Foxy's the only mechanic in that room, so of course, when you flash a beacon and see him, that's the only panic you get, but once you see him, you know that's when you should stop walking. That's just how he behaves. Getting on the Ennard, Ennard's Knight is... He's the only character, and he doesn't do anything special. He approaches from three doors, and he just constantly stops him. The Costa Knight, though, there are two major ones. I'm gonna ba I'm gonna connect the mini arenas and the Electro Babs who act who uh, disrupt your oxygen and uh, power respectively. Mm -hmm. uh, they they just make they're basically the puppet. You just gotta you see the flashing symbol, and you just go check on him. You shock him in that game instead of winding a box. But I almost don't want to count them. So the three I am gonna count are or the two I am gonna count are Yendo, who's just Golden Freddy. Uh, so Golden Freddy's always a panic. Why I didn't mention him. And uh, Bonnet, the little yeah. bunny that walks across the screen. Or yeah, yeah. Are there other panic mechanics? Yes, but they're the intended mechanics. Below are playing music to tell you what side she's on. That's not a panic mechanic. That's just how you tell what side she's on. Same with Freddy calling out that bomb bots attacking you. Regardless, though, I think honestly, uh, Bonnet is a really, really good panic mechanic. That's she's the other hidden character in Ultimate Custom Knight. That's what I forgot. And in Ultimate Custom obviously Ultimate Custom Knight is full of panic mechanics. I mean Zuhi Mama. I'll get into that in a second. Uh Pizzeria Simulator? The Do you wanna know what the panic mechanic is in that game? Hmm. Nothing fucking works. Yeah. That's again why everyone dies on night too. Uh, uh, Ultimate Custom Knight, my favorite game to talk about panic mechanics for. Every character works a certain way. Except when they don't. <laughs> Freddy speeds up in the heat. Panic mechanic. Bonnie as a character. Panic mechanic. She's got an... Seriously, when you see his figure, let's say you had your camera on Foxy and you drop it, and now Bonnie is the one on the table. No matter what, when you flip up that screen, he's gonna scream at you and force your camera. Mm -hmm. That's a panic. And anytime you see him, you just know, oh, I can't check Foxy, don't check Foxy, don't check Foxy. It's a panic. Chica, bangs pots and pans, change the music. When she stops banging her pots and pans, you know what you're doing? Hmm. Panicking. Panicking. <laughs> Foxy, I'd argue, is just a normal character. Toy Freddy, yes, he makes you panic, but again, it's intended design. Toy Bonnie, Toy Chica. They work just like in the original game. They show up in your room and ask. Uh, Mangle is a panic mechanic character, actually because she works normal. Who? She is Mangle, the original Mangle. Mm -hmm. She is one of the very, very few characters who behaves 100% normal, and that's why she's a panic mechanic. She is the only one in her category to do so. Every other character, she's in the vents. She's the one you have to use the vent snares for. Mm -hmm. Most of the characters in the vents ignore the vent snakes. And you use other cues to see them. Springtrap has a visual cue. Ennard and uh, Molten Freddy have audio cues. And Chica, although Chica, beha although Chica behaves just like Mangle, Chica can get stuck in the vent and stop other characters from getting to you. So there's that. BB and JJ, honestly, because of how many characters are in this game, they are not panic mechanics. They do kill you directly. I, w I will say that. Because they don't have rely on a single character to lever off their ability. They 100% are kill mechanics. They are not panic. Uh, Wither Chica, just like I said, gets stuck in the vent. It's her own mechanic. I think she's normal. Bon uh, Wither Bonnie. I'm going to say he's a panic mechanic akin to Golden Freddy because he kills you a lot quicker than everyone else. Once he's in your room, if that mask doesn't come down immediately, you're dead. Puppet. I think the puppet's the same as before. Yes, is a panic mechanic, and no, isn't really that frightening. However, I will say the lack of a warning symbol when the music box is low really kills the character's panic effect. You just kind of die to it more. I was talking about Golden Freddy. Springtrap, he's a visual cue. Not really that bad. Especially because he has a visual cue, he doesn't induce panic. 
Phantom Mangle and Phantom BB and Phantom Freddy, they're all just ways to get you to use certain mechanics. Uh, and to disable you from using them. Bon uh, BB, change cameras. Mangle, change modes. And Freddy, flash the light. I mean, they're not really panic like they're just gonna use this. Uh, Nightmare Freddy. Uh, literally identical to how he worked in before. Still panic inducing. I'm gonna quickly just say, Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Mangle, and Baby really don't do anything other than make you farm for coins to buy a stupid plushie. Uh, that sounds Nightmare kind of panic inducing, however. Kind of, but on 5020, you literally never need to worry about them. Every time you block an animatronic at a door and it like does a little bonk noise, you get a coin. So, you actually just earn those coins passively, and when Rockstar, Freddy, or Rockstar Fox's bird comes, you can just buy 10 coins from him, or get 10 grand to uh, Nightmare Fredbear and Nightmare. They're identical in behavior, and I don't think they're panic-inducing. They're just another character to keep you distracted. Uh, Joe. So, Jacko Chica, I would say is the perfect panic mechanic, because most people don't remember she exists. Uh, Fair enough. Her trick is that doors don't stop her, and even if so, she's she's active on both doors simultaneously. And slowly becomes more and more active as the heat goes up and the heat gets too high. Really good panic mechanic. Nightmare A is the definition of a panic mechanic. Uh, if your cursor remains in one place for too long, he starts to appear. He appears very quick, and if he fully appears, you instantly die. That is a panic mechanic in half because it forces you to constantly be moved. And I, that is pure definition. Nightmare BB. It's more of a attention grabber than a panic mechanic. You aren't constantly thinking about it because it's very obvious when he changes. Uh, old man consequences. Yes. You remember how he works, right? Yeah, I don't remember what he shuts up. Oh, access to your camera, right? Yeah. Uh, he is the ultimate panic mechanic for a few reasons. One, very distracting, and if you're panicking already, it's very hard to actually succeed in. And he confused everyone when you read the controls and saw C to catch a fish. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Panic mechanic. I already talked about Baby. Belor, exactly identical to Custom Knight. Uh, first Custom Knight. Funtime Foxy. Yeah, Panic mechanic. Have to watch him. Every show is at the hour, on the hour. Well said by Markiplier. That's his own quote. Fun Time Foxy says that when you when he kills you. Really? Every show is at the hour, on the hour. Not a moment before, not a moment later. I didn't know that. Entered standard character. He's a kill mechanic. Trash and gang. I mean, that's... I, and there are so many characters that are the definition of a panic mechanic. Especially characters who are ill-preventable. Uh, same with Healthy. Although he is preventable, he's still panic mechanic. I'm gonna just scrap all the duct characters except two. Because, uh... Uh, yeah, I want to... So that all the duct characters are the ones you have to use the audio lure for, and you have the two ducts, you can only have one open at a time. Mm -hmm. Or one closed at a time. Now, Mr. Hippo, Pigpatch, and Nedbear, perfectly normal. Orville, though, is actually isn't often tricked by the uh, audio lore, so you have to actually use the... There's something about Nedbear that's no, different from Orville. the rest. No, it's Orville. Like, think he, about. I think? It's Orville. Uh, he's immune to the audio lore at times, but the heater will always push him back. All of them are pushed back by the heater, except Lily the Frog, who's backwards. The audio lore will always keep her in place, but she is immune to the heater. Because she's cold-blooded. That's the joke. Huh. And uh, the elephant ignores the audio lore because elephants are smart and have a great memory and understand that it, it's what it is. Rockstar Freddy, I'd say on your first playthrough, just like the plush animatronics, he's a panic mechanic, but once you understand that blocking shit gives you coins, he really doesn't do anything. Uh, the ultimate example of a really, really good integration of a panic mechanic in a FNAF game is Rockstar Bonnie, where you have to drop everything and find that fucking guitar. <laughs> <laughs> he is a 
beautifully designed character, Rockstar Chica. It's hey, a yo, wet floor that, dumbass. That, that thing you're doing, that thing you're doing. Can you Stop. put that on hold? Find my guitar. Find it now. Uh, Rockstar Chica, fucking... It's a chicken scared of fucking floor signs. I mean, it's a joke, but you're not really scared of it. Uh, Rockstar Fox. I don't see the humor in the joke, but... It's literally because of the sentence, a chicken that's afraid of a wet floor sign. Oh, just for the that's... lull random of that sentence. Yes, and that's literally all she is. Because you're already checking the cameras anyway, she's just an added layer of chaos. But chaos isn't panicking. Because chaos can be tame. Chaos just means there's a lot of random shit. Mm -hmm. uh, Rockstar Foxy. Okay. Not a panic mechanic. But goddamn, do I love gambling. <laughs> I'm assuming as oh. his level increases, the probability of him getting you is also increasing. Yes, he is always active, even at level zero, but until he's actually difficulty above zero, he can never kill you. Uh, and at level 20, every single time is a 50 50 shot. Mm. That's actually better odds than I was expecting at 20. Well, he also appears like four times a night, which means you have a, oh uh, god, 50, 25, 13 point something, like a 7% chance of not dying to him if you do him every time. Hmm. Closer to like 6, maybe 5. Uh, Music Man. Oh my god, that is also the perfect definition of a panic character. All the perfect definitions of panic characters in this game work so differently. Uh... First of all, maintaining them is hard, because you have to keep noise down. And a lot of these characters make their own noise, like Trash Gang, Helpy, Afton, Mangle, Nightmare Mangle, not Nightmare, uh, Phantom Mangle, all of them make noise. You've answered a question that I've wanted to ask for a while. Which ones make noise? No, does the noise that all those characters make actually make noise? Uh, yep, and there's only one character affected by it. <laughs> and it's Music Man, and he is very stingy about noise. El Chip, eh, not really a panic character. He's more of just an uh, obscure, obscuring a vision. Like he's literally just designed to stop you for a second. And yes, it can induce panic, but I mean, you're just gonna fucking press Enter immediately and get rid of him, especially on console where he's tied to the same button as most of the other shit, which is Square. Hmm. Fun Fun Chica, exact same shtick, just kind of blocks your vision. At least hold you up, can hold see up. through her, though. Back yeah. this conversation up all the way to the beginning. Yeah, Freddy? F further than that. Okay. Oh, uh, God. FNAF World, probably the only one that I would want on console, personally, is not on consoles. Maybe. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell you right now, the mechanics for it, like how it would control, is not going to be pleasant. None of them control pleasant because they're meant to be easy. Yes, of course. But, uh, yeah. Re fast forwarding back to where we were. Funtime Chica, same story as El Chip, but god, that is a hot chicken. <laughs> uh, Molten Freddy, I'm actually going to give him a little bit extra than all the other Vent characters because he laughs and it can actually be confusing if you're not paying attention to the direction. You might get the wrong door with him. But a smart player will never fuck up. Scrap Baby! Oh my god, that is a panic inducing character through tension alone. Every single time you bring the camera down, you are watching her sink. Did you move a. Did you actually move a tiny bit, or am I fucking insane? <laughs> Afton, the first time, yes. I will say he is very panic inducing the first time you do this because you don't know how loud he's gonna be, and he just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> Uh, phone guy. Eh, I'd say so. Even in later on, trying to find the mute call button is definitely very panic inducing at times. And I, I skipped a character uh, on purpose, Lefty. I think Lefty is the most detailed panic character because not only is Lefty something you have to watch, Lefty is something you have to maintain, and it not only does it obscure your, not only does it like take away from you focusing on other things, but it also takes away from the mechanics you're using. Because Lefty requires you to turn on the global music box. Hmm. So, you know, yeah. 
that also benefits. You lagged out at the beginning of all that sentence. Oh, uh, Lefty is the perfect description of a. It's like the most in depth panic mechanic because it pulls your vision away from stuff. Mm -hmm. So you can watch it. You have to change what you're using so it, like, increases the ability of other threats. And not to mention just being something that exists perpetually. And I think if. Uh, yeah, if the noise level is too high, he activates, or if the heat level is too high, he activates. But his intensity will always be the same. Uh... Yeah, but the Global Music Box also has the benefit of winding the box if it's on, so... Yeah. And keeping Chica entertained. Right? No, Chica, you have to change the music. Mm. The Global Music Box, I think... No, never mind, you're right. The Global Music Box will also suit her. She has one of the longest descriptions for her character. <laughs> uh, FNAF World even has some kind of panic mechanics. I mean, hell, uh... Late game in that game, you're basically always gonna have to have auto life on. There's an ability called Presence. Uh, which will revive all dead teammates, and all living teammates receive a present, which will automatically revive them when they die. If you do not have presents always activated in the final fight against Scott Coffin himself, and he activates fourth wall, you're dead. Fourth wall is a panic mechanic because it automatically kills every living player. So, without presents, you are dead, and it throws off your fight immediately because you need to start resetting up because everyone dies. Even if you have presence, all your buffs go away when you die. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Fun. Another thing I love, by the way, that are some of the... reminds me of, uh... Dark Yojimbo. Oh, does his Zanmato kill everyone? Not only does it kill everyone... Uh... Dispels everyone, and that dispel also takes away auto-life. Huh. So you I'm have aware. to summon an Aeon Shield. Yeah. I love some of the Easter eggs in these games, too. Especially but, but, this one. Is it? Oh, sorry. Very specifically about uh, Dark Yojimbo's Zanmato. It is technically survivable. What can it miss? No, it does numerical damage. So that numerical damage may be in the like fucking three million or whatever. So you're talking technically speaking, like on an actual technical level. Yes, on a technical level, theoretically you could survive it, but, but you're not gonna. But mechanics prevent it. Yeah. Uh, but some of the Easter eggs. This is an Easter egg I have always wanted to address because it's left out in every theory ever. So in FNAF World, going four glitches down brings you to Red Lake where you face, you know, old man consequences. Where he basically says, Welcome to the end of all roads. And you have to wade into the lake and drown yourself. It's really... It, first of all, that alone has never been approached in a theory properly, and it's never been explained. It's more or less treated as just an Easter egg game mechanic. Like, ooh, don't go four torches down, you know? Like, it's, mm -hmm. the, it's what happens when you do. However, it clearly has value. Because in Ultimate Custom Night, if you set Old Man Consequences to 1 with no other animatronics active and pray to god DD doesn't fuck up your day, and you catch a fish, you are sent to Old Man Consequences Red Lake again. But here's the kicker. But, when but, you but, do but it, hold on. Yeah? In that scenario, you're also praying to god that he actually shows up. No, he will show up at least once. Pray to god to catch the fish, though. But, uh, 
in FNAF. The fourth glitch ending. Mm -hmm. Actually, done nothing on it. And you boot up Ultimate Custom Knight, assuming both were legally obtained copies. And you do the Old Man Consequences of Easter Egg at UCN. You get the trophy in FNAF World. And there is no explanation for that. <laughs> and no one's ever talked about it. I, 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 Matt Pat brought it up in a stream once. He was like, look at this, this is so cool. And then he never used it in the theory. Ever. It's never been fucking explained. And it bothers me, because that is so clearly intentional. Like, that is beyond intentional. That is a fucking sign. <laughs> Hi, Donnie. <clears throat> when did UCN come to console? It's always been on console. All of them have been. Except FNAF World, maybe. I don't know yet. I haven't looked that one up. I'm actually going to be getting every single mainline series game so we can play on live streams. Oh, really? Yeah. It's probably just going to be me and one other person. I'm not sure who yet. Hmm. I'm farming Dark Matter. Oh, you're alive, by the way. Oh, yeah, Michael, FNAF World's the only one not on console. Ah, uh, damn. Although, fun fact, Ultimate Custom Knight is also the only game not labeled as a FNAF game. Huh. I need 50 more Dark Matter. But yeah, Donnie, we have... One, two... No, I don't want to talk to you. Four, five, six, seven, eight main series games to go through. Not counting the fucking RPG spinoff. Also, Michael, I just remember when Curse of Drifter came out, how much Mark loved the fucking Captain Foxy shooter ride. So what's the plan for this night, Donnie? Uh... Whatever you guys are gonna do, I guess. I heard you were talking about... I mean, you said you wanted to do Apex, uh... Last night. Yeah, I'll be grinding a little bit of it. I can't accept that. are clearly never going to be patched. That's how long the game has been patchless. My personal favorite is how, at the end of every night, it incorrectly, sh like... All the characters you have turned on and their levels are not the same when the level ends. Because every night I finish, it tells me I've had Baby on, but I never turn Baby on. Oh no. <laughs> can't fucking... <clears throat> can't still help me, which is gonna make trying to do 50-20 impossible. No, 50-20 is already impossible, because you can't fucking... Deposit five coins to uh, Rockstar Friday without hitting BB. It's just stupid. Jacob's graduating today. Correction, Jacob's graduating right fucking now. Mm -hmm. Neat. Hold on, I'm reading it. I 
fun. Aren't having Kiriga is proving to come in pretty clutch. That being said, his magic stat's not high enough. Well, for the situation at hand, it is, but... For, like, Dark Aeons and shit, it's not gonna be nearly enough. Especially since he has Auto Shell. Just because I'm curious. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. What? Now what? That closing line is great, isn't it? We're going home. <laughs> Love that. Pack your bags, boy. We're going home. That sounds like something Grandpart would say, like as an actual voice line. Pack your beds. We're going home. <clears throat> uh, Duaz? Do you want to do do was? Sure. Okay. Uh oh. You miss it, Donnie. Uh, me and Michael literally talked about every single fucking main <clears throat> animatronic in the Five Nights at Freddy's series in a single conversation. Uh, I'm sure I didn't miss much then. Oh, well, you missed, missed the fuck hours. I missed. Well, you missed I missed two a hours lot. of conversation. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm sure I missed a lot, but it's nothing that you can't explain to me and. Two hours. Yo. Alright guys, buckle two up! <laughs> pack your- pack your bags, boy! We're going- We're going home! home. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan busts out the Prezi. <laughs> Who do I want to play? Honestly, low budget cheese is an ender pearl. <laughs> I ain't wrong though. Stop. It sees. Ryan. I'm not wrong. She throws an ender pearl. I remember when you only fucking played Octane. And now you only play Octane and Fuse. But was it nice or not? Huh? I don't care. At least you consistently play the game with me. Consistency, 10 out of 10. Basically. Son of a bitch! Am I blind? I may be blind. Hi Marvin. Oh, this one's got a golden arm, Donnie. In case you want it. Here, if you want to come look at this Marvin so you can tell what they look like. Whenever they have the arm. Ryan. Before I kill it. So Double Ethan cast. Oh, one second, Michael. Uh, you'll see here his arm has that red stripe on it and its forearm is black and it's also sparking at the elbow. Huh? Well, when he's on, he'll spark. He's off right now, so... Hmm. 
Am I good? Yeah. Double cast flare may have been a waste of time because Drain is doing yeah. just as much damage. It's in the rift, that's all I can remember. Oh, it's all the way in the rift. Ah, uh, so oh, I think it's not that far, actually. Yeah, I was say, rift is right next to us. I mean, all of it, I mean, it works. I'll go for it. So I've got fucking black market already. I can play <coughs> it later. A golden R99. Ah, a turbocharger from my gun. The, the, the please 99. Please, please 99. We can have my old 99. Please 99. Please. Fine, I have the turbo. You can have it. Whoops. Ryan, you want to hear something that kind of pisses me off? What? <clears throat> Double cast doing quad nine each spell does not count as doing over eighteen thousand damage. So I need break damage limit weapon to be able to overkill Chimera okay, Geist. Oh, that's the bed open. Alright, trying to hit as much as possible with this. <coughs> oh, cool. Looks like inside, inside's actually the safest place and the biggest area. Oh, I got a fist. Here we have some sniper optics. Yo, 2 4, let's go. Extended energy mag. Are we both taking energy ammo? Yeah. Which way we can go. I'm actually putting down another burger best friend up here. Oh, it's open. I'm actually putting up another black market here in a few. I saw a backpack I wanted. Oh wait, no, never mind, we opened this. I'm a fucking idiot. What's up? Oh, those bins? Yeah, we opened them with the black market, I'm an idiot. Yeah. Good that backpack. Yeet! Back stock. Ah! Uh. Sure, why not? You good? Uh, yeah, for right now. Alright, let's go to my thing. Uh, two four very. Or not two four, it's up very. Just put it on my uh, gold and I'll be good. I will be quite solid. Don't need it. Good no, sorry. You're good. I should be able to click your name in my fucking Backpack menu and be able to see what guns you have in their attachments. The card doesn't hurt you. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's in my it's in my pocket. Ryan, are you free to think? I'll 
I'll take that as a no. Sorry, what was that? Are you free to think? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Alright, so, I fucked up on Auron's armor. What's up, kiddos? And I need your advice on whether I should scrap it or just try to make it somewhat viable. Are you doing, scrap it, are you doing gridless? No. Uh, what's he got? Aaron has an armor, auto protect, auto phoenix, auto shell. The only two things that could make this technically viable is break <laughs> HP limit or ribbon or stone. Are you mean to fight the dark aeons? Of course. Break HP limit. Tell that to Dark Ages Sisters and Dark Anima and Dark Bahamut. Oh, oh, the fucking ribbon doesn't matter against Dark Anima because pain kills you anyway. Pain, pain's death pierces Aeons' immunity to death. That's my, that's my point. <laughs> ribbon doesn't protect against death. That's what I'm saying. Pain inflicts all statuses, yes, but pain's gonna kill you anyway. So what's the point of the ribbon? The point of the ribbon is to be able to survive attacks that would turn you to stone. Because oh, technically, this... if an attack that turns you to stone were to kill, it would shatter you. Oh. But the Does hope... Pain stone? Pain doesn't stone, but pain's right, not what uh, I'm, I'm looking no... to survive. I'm no longer in a thinkable mindset. Alrighty. Satisfied. Ethan, what was your question? Um, you guys want to do arenas? No, not really. Not arenas, I'll play Battle Royale though. Okay. Ryan, also, you uh... seem to neglect the fact that scrapping it was <laughs> on the table of possibilities. Well, I wouldn't scrap it, but I just wouldn't make it ribbons, because, honestly, I don't think that build is meant for a... Even if that was for a Dark Aeons, I don't think putting ribbon on that would make it good for Dark Aeons. Fair enough. Alright, looks like it's in the States. You're also underestimating how many statuses are in the Dark Aeons. You underestimated my power. So you're saying for sure, scrap it in the sense of using something else? Yes, but you don't feel like get rid of it. But if you want to get rid of it, you can. Yeah. I'm not gonna get rid of it till I at least have something that can replace it. He's, he's broke, he's broke, he's broke. Because okay. auto protect and auto shell are kind of expensive <laughs> abilities. But not nearly as expensive as Auto Phoenix. But if I put Break HP Limit on it, it's a subpar Break HP Limit armor. Careful, you know they're gonna teleport back here. It's just gonna slap Stone Proof on it and call it a day. Not. Watch the totem, watch the totem. One of them's still linked to it. Okay, they're gone. Uh, Shit, they're on that rooftop over there. Thank you. Shield. Good thing they don't have an R star. Block that doorway. Got 
Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, they can just shot. Yeah, right. They're fighting over there. Hold on, you want to move over here? They get out of in between these two. We got separated. Careful, there's another guy there. Shit. Ah, uh, both of them on that side. That thirsting. Damn it. Oh, uh, and you had it flesh. I did. Oh well. That was good fighting. Mm -hmm. well, even though we only ended up with two kills. <laughs> Dude, I landed a charge sentinel <laughs> shot on that bloodhound though. Both that one I told you that when I was yelling at you to push, I hit him with a charge sentinel shot. <laughs> Both of my kills were on revenants. <laughs> Ooh, actually, hold on. Can we do like two matches of arenas so I can get these uh, this Apex pack on the tracker? Sure. I say I only need to do. If I can manage, to, if we can manage to win it, that'll be all I need. I think. It's thermal right now, so we should be good. So. The the toxins that toxic use come from a spider called the Carthage. Spider. There is no question about that. You could ask me that you that I should have any reason to know. No, I was just reading off what it, what the text was saying. Okay. And how are you doing? Okay, you're just fucking retarded. Just change the subject, why don't you? <laughs> yeah, Wait, I don't want to get into this right now. Oh, you are? <laughs> yeah, sorry. I thought they already ready to... You're fine. Sorry, I didn't... So this weekend, uh... You... <laughs> uh <laughs> this weekend, I'll, uh... I want to have, uh, a little bit of fun, because I just bought... Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Ultimate Custom Night. On console? Mm. And god is that fucking hell. Mm. Oh, no Mirage? No, I don't really like Mirage on this on arenas. Well it's just I'm not used to. Donnie, that fuse is like the same level as you. Hey, speaking of fuse. Eh, potato, potato, fire the passion. Show me your shoulders. Their shoulders are illegal in some countries. Well, yeah, obviously in schools, because they're too distracting. I'm going on your side, Donnie. Nothing. 
up the plus one. Yeah, Ryan, get back here. I'll revive you. Oh, why don't you fight the guy in your in here? <laughs> e slash falling back. Oh what? Hello. <sighs> you know, minus the fuse in the. Uh, minus the fuse in the Pathfinder, that's a really good team. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Alright, Ryan, I have another idea I want to pitch to you. Alright. Half MP cost on Titus' ultimate weapon. Wait, say that again? Half MP cost on Titus' ultimate weapon. Got one. It'll make quick hit cost. Help. He's reviving. Um, why the fuck can I do the math for half of thirty six? I flicked up out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these guys are hacking. <laughs> They're not good. hacking. One's using a spit. The fuse is using a spit. Spit fire! Center there. I got shooting. Alright, I'm gonna beat them to the center. No cap. No cap. I tried. Uh huh. Shit, I got wrapped. Oh. They still had eyes. They're up on Ryan. Moving towards me, Pathfinder. Bad decent. Planted that. <clears throat> they still had eyes on me. Kind of made me mad. I would have had that fuse if they didn't. Left, left. Your shield's down. Oh my god, he was moving. <laughs> I'd reload. Oh, never mind. If you have more cover, take that one in front shield down, put up another. Mm -hmm. They're just gonna shoot at it. They're pushing. I shouldn't have gotten on to you. I didn't know Oct or, uh, Donnie went the other way. Yeah, I went left, got views. If they didn't have eyes on me, I would have had the finisher. But it didn't work out, so. Walker dropped his diploma right before they took his picture. <laughs> uh, and I bet you a million fucking dollars it was intentional. Yeah, Taylor's watching. Taylor's there and she said he did it. Kids. Also. 
relation to Dead Ice Tempo. Oh, really? Yeah, yes. specific, uh, I'm not sure about uh, the bow, but with the Sentinel, there's a little, like, semicircle at the bottom of it, like a little crescent. Yeah, and after you shoot, there's a point where it lights up blue, and if you fire while it's lit up blue, it slowly starts expanding and speeding up your fire rate. Hmm. You know That's what else speeds up your fire rate? Shooting. Uh, um, I beat you to your own punchline, didn't I? No, um... Turbo <laughs> I think I beat him to his own punchline. No, Turbo Charger. I was trying to remember what the hop up was called. That doesn't really speed up your fire rate. It gives you the same fire rate, just sooner. But faster. I guess I'll play Mirage this time. Ryan based? Ryan is based. I tried to swap the Revenant, I was too late. <laughs> based Revenant. Ah, a beautiful banner. Seventy six on a blue shield. Oh, come on, let me charge my fucking Sentinel game. I hate when it does this. I got gang bang by all three of them in the middle by the trucks. Watson's flesh. Hard. Man, my feeling really got hurt. Ah, uh -huh, Watson's flesh. Hurt. She's finishing. They probably res. Uh, path. Fucking slid jumped, and for some reason I didn't aim up when he jumped. I just shot right underneath his legs. That was an oof. That was a certified oof moment. <laughs> do not get. Do not let them catch you whacking. I won't ha, master. Ha 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 ha. Comedy. Yeah, I thought it was fun. I do that. It looked like it was a very bad JPEG. Cause it is. They didn't face it that. No. Oh my god, pick up the cover! Why is my D-pad just stupid sometimes? <laughs> Oh, fuck. That came out of nowhere. Hey, I'm having a problem. I can't pick up my cover. Hey, it'll be fine. Take same blue Pathfinder.
Oh, okay, so when I can destroy the cover, it lets me. That's stupid. You're stupid. Damn straight I am. Let me pick up the damn cover. Alright, well, no cover for me this round. Keep me covered, I'm reloading. No. Alright. See a supply jump, right? Oh my god! They're all up over there. Damn it. I wish I had my cover. <laughs> Ethan, do you ever have problems with that in arenas where it just doesn't let you pick up cover? Nope. I've never Probably had that because problem. you just use all of them. No, no, it wouldn't let me pick them up. They weren't damaged or anything. I've got a viewer. Who's here? Oh, Bye, Rhiannon. If it is Rhiannon, hello. If it's not, hello. Hello. Oh, Hi. It's me. Goku. I heard your cancer was pretty strong. Let me fight it. I heard your porn addiction was strong. Let me fight it. <laughs> <laughs> Just turns to a coffin. Ball from the right side. And they left. He just knocks. Cat's not. How am I not hitting you? <laughs> what the? Hey, don't use Sheila, they can see it. I, I know. Triple kill. Let's go. Yo, Donnie, you clutching? I put like two bolts fuse. left. Even though they're winning. Now with the power of friendship and love. I'm a big, big fan of the power of friendship and love, but I don't know why my friends just march sometimes. Oh, okay, good. We actually have a position that's not fucking center. Maybe that's we got a lot of center this time around. Ah, it's perfectly balanced. Also, Ryan, I don't know how you use it. I can scout right now. No, you're the mode to use them! LMG! I've been using a Spitfire, I didn't want to use it this round. I know. Oh, oh goddammit, why can't I pick it up? That pound is really low, like I mean mega low. Got him. Oh my god. She's flesh. Down below. Got her. Let's go. Bo check. 
I mean Bokeki. Well, wow. um, they lost two rounds in a row and they decided they didn't want to play anymore. Uh, GG, I guess, boys? Mm-mm! I mean, I don't do it. Go bam the lamb, but go bam the lamb. Pull him. Pull him. Pull him. I don't know why, why that bowl needs in the scum. Cause you're fucking with him. Now, 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 yeah. Now, 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 yeah. He's good looking. Oh, extremely low, I broke her. And then She's wait. flesh shielding up down below. Earth underneath the stairs. Ooh, poggers. Poggers in my white Valentino bag. Oh, this is my Valentino white bag. I can't believe Watson's the only black character in this game. Ethan? Yeah. Shut the fuck weird. up. That is weird. Faster than you. We know. We'll use the power of friendship. Mine, 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 mine. Oh, she's not here. Okay. Oh, yeah, she is. Jesus Christ. Nice. That was close. That was a close game. They got swept by one octane and they were like, nope, um, I don't want to play anymore. Yeah, that match wasn't even like, they killed us and then you swept. We were alive the whole time basically doing nothing. <laughs> Our butts did. Yeah, yeah, I was saying, I got like, look, look at the damage! <laughs> Let's go! You would have the same stats? That's weird. No, look at the damage! I know, I know, but you guys have the same stats. I, oh, <laughs> wow. Haha. Uh -huh. Donnie, I'm better than you. You suck. I don't know, mate. He did sweep an entire team. Fair enough, but I gotta revive. I don't so. wanna say I carried. I did better than you! Our butts touched the same seat. We are brothers. Ooh, I got an Apex pack. I did too, but I don't really matter. Oh! I got a purple, let's go. What's up? Oh Aww. my god. Mm, I hate my fucking life. What? No, it's, first of all, I just got a pack with a blue, a purple, and a gold. That's mm -hmm. high. Right. Blue, it's a fucking charger. I mean, that's whatever. Purple, it's fucking neural net for caustic. That's at least a little slick. Gold? Finally, I get a crypto skin. Which one is it? Devil's Edge. Pipe Beast. I like that name. I'm mad. I'm, I'm, I, you know what? I'm buying Devil's Advocate. Fuck it. I'm getting 1200 and I'm buying it. Wait, how much do you need to get a gold? 1200. Aww. Lame. <laughs> But I haven't been buying anything because of my current count. Donnie, you want to guess how many crafting medals I have? 1055. I have 1055 crafting medals. Nice. 
Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Now, 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 now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could get the epic pack tonight if I grinded arenas, but I just want to see this, dude. Uh, oh, Jake's not here. Oh, sorry. Jake's not here, so we can play rank. <laughs> I fucking hate playing rank because then it's like, rank's so stupid, and I'm like, we perform better every single time. Ryan. Yeah? Chicken butt. Okay. <laughs> That's actually why I say yeah when people say my name. Why? Because, uh, when I was in... Oh, would it have been 8th grade, I think? I went to a, do a thing for school where we went to a, a daycare. To, like, take care of some kids. It wasn't like a young daycare, it was like the kindergarten. The, not first grade, second grade the, daycare. The demon spawns. Yeah, the demon spawns. And, uh, basically, the, the entire class I was with kept doing that. And, uh, one what, of the teachers was like... Yeah, one of the teachers said, if you want to avoid it, just say yeah instead of what. And I was like, oh. Yeah, they kept saying chicken butt every time I said what. They'd be like, guess what? They'd be like, what? Chicken, chicken butt. butt. I fucking hate you. Well. <laughs> Ryan. Alright, yep. next pack. The next pack that I open is going to be 100% guaranteed going to be a heaven. Right. Ethan? Yes. What level is this account? Uh... like 30-something? Mine? Yeah, it's like 30-something, right? No. no! It's 60, like, 2, I think. No, 64, I think. You have a bronze color, don't you? No, I have... <laughs> we're, we're ranked, so it's different than normal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, but if you, you're like 66, if you legitimately get an air limit at pack, I am done playing Apex. Alright. This is Michael. Michael is completely blind. No. This does not prevent Michael from doing that yeah. stuff. Guess what? I'm actually Loba. Sus. 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 I thought that was Ethan for a second because they had the same level. Oh, I'm Jump Master. Oh, wrong right. There's no fight night. I heard mom got stung by a few bees this morning. Is she okay? Hospital? She is okay now. No hospital. She had to take the deep penis. Uh, what? I had to inject her with EPIC penis. Oh, for Christ's sake. Epi <laughs> You didn't have to inject your wife with that deep penis. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Epic penis. Nah, 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 nah. nah. Oh my god, this is gonna be a fight and a half, boys. This is- this is literally fight night. <laughs> Hit one. Just punch him and dip. Ow. There were no guns on my entire floor, by the way. Can I get help? No. Why not? I have a oh. lot of energy ammo. Hey, advice, don't drop there, please. Yeah, please, let's not drop there ever again. Advice, not drop right. there all the time. Uh, that was all I heard. <laughs> don't worry. I got you, Donnie, don't worry. Woo! No, I got him. I got him. Did you die inside or outside? Inside. Let's go. Leave. I'm always dead inside. <laughs> Let's make like a tree and get the heck out of here. Take a banana and get the... Oh, we're being shot at by a bow. Potion up on you. Yeah, I had no help. That was champion. Yeah, quite sus. That was sus. That was level 65 fucking lifeline. Ah, oh, look at that, I, I carry need to guys. Check how much health? Jacob's oh, no, stuff man. Being a fucking alcoholic. Oh no, man, <laughs> that 30 damage that I got was from punching someone. I think it's I carried more than you did. 
I don't know, I hit someone with a PK. It was kinda hot. I hit him with my knife. Oh, I yeah, hit him with know. my dick. Alright, Ryan carried. Yeah, Ryan carried. Yeah, I literally raped the enemy team. <laughs> oh, that, that was me today. in arenas. Yeah, uh... I was making sandwiches at work today. I was wrapping them. My buddy was like, and the guy next to me was like, hey, can you wrap my sandwich? I'm like, yeah, I'm actually a professional rapper. I think I'm gonna quit and start a solo rapper career. He's like, oh yeah, uh, so you're a rapist? And I'm like, yeah, but I target my uh, material towards children. I like to think that I'm a child rapist. <laughs> I'm hoping one day I can start gathering like a, like a bunch of people who are in my field. We'll make a list. We'll have a registered list of child rapists. Because firstly, I would like to say that I'm a registered child rapist. You're the best rapist I know. Mm-hmm. I'm really good at rapping. Oh, you were talking about rapping! <laughs> Did someone's sticky keys just activate? No. <laughs> yeah. Is that, that a joke y'all get? Is sticky no, keys it, still a thing? It was, it was a walkie-talkie. That level she said Did anyone else hear that child go, Yeah! <laughs> yeah! We're going there. No. I'm not going no? There. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy, that wasn't a question for me. We all. I just really, really, really. Are you asleep? They're fucking their teammate! Uh. All right. Well, I guess Ryan's jump master from now on. I'm always jump master from Payson. Ah, uh, I can use that. Oh wow! Looks like looks like this landing spot's pretty good, ain't it? Man, I don't have a weapon yet. If I get a turbocharger, then yeah, we'll land here every game. I got people on me. Moving towards you. I still have no weapon. I landed right in front of their gun! You know, Ethan, for changing your mind and landing on me, you landed really far away from me. Yeah, because I, I was set- I had my mind set on somewhere, and then... <laughs> Come on, Ethan, you got this. She's falling back. Shoot them. Shoot the path. Good job. Landing on you. Yeah, but specifically? Behind you. I need a weapon. Oh, clear, come through. Well, good game, boys. I don't have a gun. Punch. Yeah, that won't work. I don't know, man. I have good luck, but... Sounds like to me you're not... Oh, why did you not him. climb the box and wrap him? Because I didn't have any ammo. <laughs> Punch him! It won't work! It does 30 damage! Yeah, but I... I have a had... viewer again. Hello! Hello. I'm landing there again. I'm down. I'm sorry if this content is excessively boring, but I did fairly well. Yeah, you should probably. There. Yeah, you should probably change your subject. Uh, I'm just kidding. You're right, Michael. I think we could use with a change in staff. I say we could keep him. What? He was saying you should change your content, so I was like, yeah, Michael, we could really use a change of staff. I said, yeah. We can take Ethan off the team. <laughs> Honestly, if you ask Ethan, me, I just want you to, Ethan, Ethan's I just want one to, of the more entertaining parts of my streams. Ethan, I just want you to understand, this is a choice from corporate. I understand I'm your boss, but I do have to make <laughs> respectable decisions for this company. Oh yeah, I forgot what I was looking up. I got distracted. Ryan. Give him a rush. It's too late. 
Yes, I have Mirage. You were there when I bought him. Yeah, I know. That's why I said it. You had Mirage. Uh... It wasn't a question, Ethan. <laughs> When someone tells you to take the upcoming exit and you're going 90 in the left lane. Angry. <laughs> Visually angry. Ah, uh, Master the Boo! Jump. You scared me! Can't do that. I'm just here for a laugh or two. There you are. No, we're landing here. 120,000. I'm gonna murder you. I'm kidding. Where are we heading? We're going to Epic. We're going to Epic P. <laughs> I mean, Epic Center. Four. We're going to Epic Games Headquarters? Times Epic Games Headquarters. Nine. Do you know these people? Uh, nope. I have no idea who these guys are. You're not my mom. You're not my son. That's oh, my hey, well, purse. That's a... I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hank. If this is the hill you want to die, wanna on? die on, I'll kill. <laughs> I'll fight your brat. Nine, nine, ninety-one. This is my purse. I don't know you. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Do I hear you saying? Oh wait, never mind. I'm not Rampart. No, I want my three hundred one back, please. Thanks, game. You want, you want that third one? Just uh, lie down for you. Uh, if you find a PK, let me know. Did people land on us? No. Not that I know of. Unless one, unless that one, one of you guys. No, that was me. Is there a Spitfire anywhere? No, sir. All right, if you see one, let me know. I can really use it. I need shotgun ammo. I need a backpack. Got a bow. Yes, Carson. It is a bow. Hey, don't tell Carson I said hi. I'm not holding it like a cross, though. What do I I'm not. Oh, Ryan. Do you want a blue extension? Oh my. Yeah, Ryan. Oh my god, I'm going to kill your brother or whoever he is. Cousin. Oh, that's me. Oh my god, he sounds like he's seven. Not like his voice, uh, but like the way he talks. Here you go, Ryan. Is it Ryder or Ryan? It's Ryder. That's his name. I just I, don't have his honestly, name. Honestly, honestly, that'd be a lot cooler than Ryan, I can't lie. Damn, I wish my name wasn't yeah, Frank. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> this is Blake. <laughs> Damn, I wish my name wasn't Ryan. Fuck, I wish it was Ryder. 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 That's so cool, oh my god. All, all of my si me and all my siblings have very normal names. Yeah. Like, Kevin. Oh. That's my Kevin dad. <laughs> your father is Kevin Hart. Me and my siblings. Your dad? <laughs> Man. So, what? me and Jeremy forgot to ask you this a while ago. Um, the house that Jeremy's working on as a side job, the owner sold his boat to the to a guy from Ohio. What in the world happened to this lifeline? <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> hey, that caustic's dead. By uh, the way, there's a caustic and he's dead. Why did you pack up the cover? But legitimately, Ryan, I think Ethan provides more entertainment to my streams than I do. Not to offend you, but don't most people in your streams provide more entertainment than you do? Well, of course. I'm socially inept. Mid. Help, help, help. Oh, please, please. He has a Spitfire if you want it. When was there a second squad? Wow, what? I was full fucking health. Ah! We that lifeline. That, life that lifeline literally hit me with three bullets and killed me. Literally. Three bullets from a fucking habit killed me. 
Then again, you did one shot someone. I have a sniper through an amp wall, to be fair. Oh no. Aha, Jonathan, you were banging my dog. She's mine uh, now, John. Oh, I ruined the crafting metal thing. What do you mean? My 1055 crafting medals. She's mine now, John. <laughs> so, Ryan, did you just reach silver last match? No. I've been in silver. In fact, I've been going down this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go again, Ethan, come on. Am I ready to- Am I not readying up on this one? Actually, I think I'm gonna unready. I need to go take up this. Yeah, Ethan, you here? Yes. Am I ready up on your screen? Yes. Okay. Fuck-a-duck, screw a kangaroo. Finger <laughs> bang and orangutan. Orgy at the zoo. Alright, I'm gonna use the ancient technique, Ethan. I'm gonna open this pack with my penis, and I'm definitely gonna get the thing. Bad. Oh, I did get gold, though. What is it? I have a caustic skin. I've gotten like three caustic skins in a row. <laughs> How are you men to be like with the homies? Boys. Forgets two seconds later. Girls. Never speak to each other for 20 years. Uh, ooh. Excuse me. I can, I can finally afford a fucking legendary item, and I have no idea what to get. Oh, I already know what to get. You should get an emo for- I already know what to get. I already know what to get, and I've already gotten it. What is it? Uh, fucking Revenant's legendary finisher. Uh, which one's that? Imminent Shutdown. Uh... He stabs people with his sharp hand. That's kind of ready up. What are you talking about? I am readied up. I am. I am. Alright, just hold everyone, on. everyone I'm ready up. No, it's... Yeah, just rejoin on me. Nah, just join on us. <laughs> we actually can't. It still says your party is full. Alright, I'm joining on Donnie, though. <laughs> Alright. We apologize. <laughs> I think I've already talked about this, Michael, but my anxiety meds have the exact same side effects as drinking. Mm hmm. Fun times. Ooh, I had a fun experience the other night. That, that, that's also sarcasm. I had a horrible experience <laughs> the other night. <laughs> but, uh,. So I was drinking with Taylor, because she got me a bottle of Jaeger, because, you know, I wanted Jaeger. And, uh, I, I just wanted a night where I could just drink and, you know, enjoy myself, because I haven't had one of those in a while. Because last time I tried, Taylor ended up not liking drinking, so he just didn't. But, uh, <laughs> so, I was already pretty drunk, and then Walker's parents start fighting. And, uh... Because I have horrible anxiety, I have to take my meds. But it's also, I, I'm not. It's not that I'm not allowed to, but I'm not supposed to take my medicine while drinking because of its side effects. Mm -hmm. That's the story. It sucks. I like how my character isn't even on the banner. Did anyone see that I was behind mine?
tag. Good luck. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, okay. 30 30. I never used this fucking thing. I've used it like twice. You also don't use arc stars, yet here you are. At least I sometimes use them. I don't think I, I really speaking ever. Speaking of arc stars, I just got two. Donnie, what's this 30 30? Nope. I actually have three arc stars. Donnie just passed some two Devos, so he's packing something big. Havoc have and a PK. Donnie's Donnie. packing. Donnie. What? Can I have a Devo? If you go down there and grab it for yourself, yeah. Can you at least mark it, please? Uh, no, I'm already too far away. It's at the bins that he pinged when he first landed. It's at the end of the building I was at. Right. Hey. Picked one up for a second before dropping into a hazard. That means it has your skin on it. Yep, he doesn't have skin. Ah, uh, four. That's actually a pretty cool skin. Mm. You're correct, he's poor. He didn't even have foundation in the hospital he was born in. What? Talk about Is your that cousin. correct, Roman? Huh? Oh, wait, are we bringing back the- are we, are we bringing back to the- are we going back to the I'm so poor jokes? How, how your hospital didn't even have, have foundation when you were born? Yeah, I was so I was so poor growing up. My the hospital I was born in didn't even have a foundation. No cap. Yeah, no. We actually didn't eat food when I was a kid. We just kind of put water in dirt. Photosynthesis. Pretty yeah. good stew. Yeah, we were so we were so poor. We didn't eat. We just photosynthesized. Photosynthesis. Me Ryan and my siblings actually had to make a ring production. <laughs> Me and my siblings actually had to mutate to compete with each other. <laughs> I'm looking for shatters, by the way. Uh, can't help you. I got this. Oh, come on, come on, come on! Oh, thank God, I'm running. I got this feeling inside my bones. Just red. Can I have it? Uh, if you want to come over and grab it, yeah. Did you get your first back down? Yep. Finally got my I've, shatters. I have two LMGs. <clears throat> I have a Devo and I have a Spit. I have a Whitch. Come on, give me a better heavy, heavy gun. I mean, I like the 30 30 kind of, but I really don't want this one. You want to uh, use that shatter cap on instead of the 30 30. Okay. Nah, I've got enough heavy ammo to make it worthwhile if I find something else. Alright. I actually got good kids for both my guns. Oh! Yoink! Poor Ryan. What? Don't bring my status in. What? Who turned on the bridge? Not on me! me. He's flesh. Ethan, get over here. No. Hey, on me, I got death totem. Mind you, Ethan is death oh. totem. All three of them. One shielding over here. Mirage all the way back there. Lifeline too. They're pushing. Lifeline pushing in. Far door. One has gold. Yeah, I know. God damn it. I'm dead. She's pushing. Stupid. If Donnie's pushing. dead, pick up his banner and dip. They're down there. Mirage pushing you. Put up some man cover. Yeah, you're right. 
Ethan never. Yeah, I say, don't you know Ethan never puts a plant cover mid fight? <laughs> Only before. Only before. Ethan just had to raise that fucking bridge. I. They were already that. there before he did. Yeah, but now they knew what direction we were in. Rano. Didn't they already see you, Donnie, bro? No. Because he called him out after I yelled at you about the bridge. Yeah, I want to talk about artificial flavorings that don't taste like their actual flavors, but we still associate with them for no fun. Great. Great. M2 stuff. Mango always hits. Wait, not you, Donnie. Should I get this jacket? Come here. Oh, never mind. Did you have <laughs> Thank you for enlightening me. It's, uh, Yang's jacket from Volume 7. Isn't that thing like 170 bucks? 119. <laughs> Yo, there's a lot I'll pay a lot for. Clothing is never gonna be one of them. Fair enough. Yeah. That's... I was actually... When I was a little bit younger, I was, like, talking to myself about that. It's like I had a whole rant. Right. Don't do it, I will. Get your mom's permission to read it. Please like and share this post if you like fries and onion rings and want to legalize machine guns. Not a huge fan of onion rings. <laughs> Buffalo's onion rings. You know who has really shitty onion rings? Or Richards. A mongoose? Excuse me. That's the spot. You're right, Ethan. I'm always Jump Master. Bye, guys. Where are you going? Pretty sure I can land up top. If you need me, Holly. You're about to turn. Well, I'm about to turn on uh, Do Not Disturb, but then I realize it doesn't matter. This probably isn't going to be worth it. Send it to Sniper Mag if anyone's interested. I got an anvil receiver, I'll hold on to it until one of you gets a uh, thingy, if you want. Yeah, I'm going to be holding out for a. Uh... I like how me and Donnie get purple. Alright, okay, what do you guys have? Uh, energy, heavy, and light. Alright, so it doesn't matter what Ah, you! Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, here. Heavy drop shit. Sorry, Donnie, can you forgive me? Yeah, for now. What a go getter. Oh, I needed that heavy ammo. Yeah, I forgot the thing. I think it's pretty all in bad time. Someone got respawned. That's far. That's quite big. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. God, I... It's not that I don't hate it. Or no, it's not that I do hate it, it's just that... You don't like it very much? Yeah. I'm happy it's died out a little as a meme. I just uh, wanted like, to I, die completely. I'm happy it's not everywhere. I think it's a perfectly acceptable meme to be referenced occasionally. Alright. Uh, po uh, I think this should be a popular uh, opinion. The 3030 can get the, uh... Not the huge ones, but like the final showdown. There aren't any others. The four, the four, eight, the six. No, I don't. You know, there's only two exclusively sniper scopes, right? Which is the four, eight, and the six, ten digi threat. Or ten. Wait. 
There's an 810. Ethan, what guns do you have? RE and 3030. There's not an 810. You wanna swap out that 3030 for an Elf Star? You have energy. It would benefit you. Yeah, I got energy. Yeah. Only one stack. That's alright. Don't mind saying Careful, that careful. Enemies are fighting around this area. Everyone's fighting around everywhere. Whoops. That's a 2 4 if you got 30 30 still. Nope. Uh, here, Ryan. Er, Donnie, you can have it. Oh, you still got that anvil? Yes. I'll take it. I got a shit ton of light ammo here. I can take that. You're welcome. And we got a little spare heavy. I'll take that anvil too. Ah, oh, sweet. Oh, you owe me something. At least character wise. Can you mod me? Oh, hey, people, me, people here, people here. Alright. Portal behind you. Oh my god. Oh there's my god. There's two teams god. here. I just realized there's two teams here. How stupid. I thought I was seeing too many wraith trails. Landing in that huge thingy. City is just hard to push from anywhere unless you're in the city. Ethan Winter 69 just donated $400. Lady D, please sit up. You have Lady... Uno, you stupid man thing. Lady Demetrescu? Demetrescu. Lady Demetrescu. That's how you silent. Mark always pronounces it you, it's stupid. Demetrescu. For the meme of it, I believe. No, what he does for the meme of it is sent 190% of the time. God, these haha, -ha, Jonathan, you're banging my daughter are getting worse and worse every time. So instead of Jonathan, it's a bang. <laughs> it says haha, -ha, Jonathan, you're a bang. Haha, -ha, bang, you're Jonathan, my daughter. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fucking stupid. Jonathan, Jonathan, uh, Jonathan, Jonathan. Daughter! <laughs> Jonathan, daughter. Jonathan, daughter. you're my daughter, bang. Jonathan. Donathan, Jonathan, Donathan. you're my daughter, bang. Donathan. <laughs> Daughter, you're banging my Jonathan. <laughs> Donnie. What do you want? Hey, what's your full or like what's your full first name? Donathan. <laughs> really? I can give you a hint. It rhymes with Jonathan. <laughs> Oh my god, here's another one, and instead of Mavis, it's freaking. It's a little child, and it says, Haha, Jonathan, you're going to jail. Why did that randomly just start becoming a meme? All memes start randomly, no matter what it is. Well. <laughs> I feel bad for the people that don't know that they're gonna be memes yet. It's got a golden energy mag on Devo and I'm not giving it to either of you. Oh, I thought that was a light mag. That's why I, that's why I was kinda sad. Docker fighting over here, I'm pushing. 
here we just remember that. All the time. Her teammates getting me. We're at. They fell down. Ethan, you want to push up and heal me? Nope. Don, if you have a second to fall back and actually, I need to heal me. Shield. It's all right. Don't worry. You just got in my way a little bit. Uh oh. Two of them on me. We're dead. I'm falling. Even if you get safe or get to me, I should still be good. Um, Luca. Just let it happen. Just let it happen. The final showdown. What happened? It just let it happen, right? Yeah. Right. Well, I, I said just let it happen because I was just gonna start unloading the Devo when he revs me. <laughs> I mean, Ryan was correct. He didn't give that uh, level four energy mat to either of us. He gave it to the enemy. Yeah, what the heck? Why didn't you kidding me? Oh, well, it looked like he picked up the Devo, so I'm sure he took it. Women versus one-legged men. Final showdown. Oh, men, men, not men, 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 men. men, men. Can't wait for the next death battle. Small puppy <laughs> versus my fucking foot. What is it? <laughs> my money's on your foot. No, no, Ethan. It's his fucking foot. This foot ah. is fucking. <laughs> It's the foot I fuck with. I'm gonna be the ram part. The final One show. Day someone will look at you the same way you look at these nuts. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Actually, you know what? I gotta agree because my homies do got great nuts. Pathfinder casually with 4,700 kills. Yo, what up? Can we just talk about how you guys were talking about nuts and his name was Shaft? <laughs> Comedy writes itself. You wanna land on- Okay, let's land on the jump tower, I'm going. I'm landing on the jump tower, Donnie. Alright, I'm on the jump tower, what now? I'll join you. Ah! <laughs> Yo, what up, I'm Dora. Let's go explore some shit. Can you find the crackhead? Gunshots. Northwest on it, that's where I went. Bye, Ethan. <laughs> Bye, I guess. What do you mean you guess? For certain. Wait, I got a turbo charger. No guns, Donnie. Uh, back to some of these bins. I'm on the train There you tracks. go. Oh, okay. You are my fire. Oh, that's what happens when you have a console that doesn't support homosexuality. Fun fact, did you know hitting a jump pad while stimming doesn't make you fly farther? Really? Yep. Travel the same distance either way. No, it's true, it's different. However, if you melee into one, you uh, fly straight up. Oh, oh deal. Yeah. You got a, uh, uh... What's the name? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh! Havoc. Enemy on me! All those teachers. The final showdown. Shut up, Sid. Oh, I wanna do it, I wanna do it! Do it. Get your shields back. 
Oh, let's go. That's so satisfying. Oh, I'm dead. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, they're at enemies on me, too. You know, this would help if we had another teammate. Yeah, but you always... Dad, you guys brought that on yourself. I said uh, I was I landing on the jump tower. I joined him. I said I was joining him. Granted, you didn't join me until halfway down your flight path. Yeah, I wouldn't say halfway. Even 700 meters out, you're not getting us. Shut up, with the power of friendship and love I can. Oh my god, you're a fragment! You didn't even land at Harvester! No. Honestly, oh, bad teammate. Oh, that's the end of Donnie. <laughs> Stick is gonna be fucking broken. You don't use a uh, auto sprint? No. Yeah, you can turn on, you can turn on something where you double tap L3 to just keep running forward constantly. Oh, uh, look on the bright side, Donnie. You actually might be able to be recovered. Going dark. <laughs> Problem number six. Going bark. Seven, six, five, four, seven, four, fuck. Thirty-two. Well, after a cross-country race later, Ethan's about to recover your ass. Is that a bad thing? Oh, only the fact that he had to run across country. Well, I mean, I did kind of save your life against that cost. Didn't I kill him? Oh, you got the finisher because I allowed it. No, 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 I'm pretty sure I knocked him. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll see. Just let it happen, Ethan. This is fate. Oh, that was rough, buddy. Wow, now you can't even say you picked up the banner. Shut up. Oh, I guess not. My bad. Oh yeah, all me, 110%. <laughs> I carried. Showed... Oh god, I'm so happy I have that fucking finish right now. September. Do hey. you remember? No. Alright, ready? Here we go. I'm opening up I'm opening up the Apex pack. I got all purples! <gasps> that is a uh five Okay, Ryan, what's your banner pose for, uh, Loba? Huh? That's oddly specific. I use, uh, Alpha Dog. Not uh, Alpha Dog. That's my frame. Uh, I use Jumping to Judgment. Pose, pose, pose. Jumping to Judgment? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I just got that. No, I don't want to unlock Legend. Also, in it. Oh. Call it a script dream because Jeff's making dinner, I believe. Or 